Good afternoon world from Trogon's Perch, a new restaurant here in the north of Shargao Island. This is a fantastic little place for us because it's only 15 minutes from our house and it was our first time coming here. Story and Sasha are already swimming in the pool. I've ordered some food but it's not quite arrived yet and I'm just enjoying the vibe here in this new place. I love discovering new cafes and restaurants, especially in the north of Shargao Island here in the Philippines. Most of the stuff is generally located in the south of the island in General Luna. So when something new pops up in the north, it is first on our list to go up and see. So we arrived here about 11.30 in the morning and there was a lot more people here when we first got here. Quite a busy vibe, lots of people just come to have some early lunch and we've now been sitting here for a few hours enjoying the food. They've got a couple of vegan options on the menu because it's only their soft opening. I just confirmed what was and what wasn't and didn't have like dairy inside it. Some delicious tofu which was absolutely amazing. They've got like a salt and pepper crust and it just like tasted unbelievable. So I'm really excited for when they open up their full menu here at Trogon's Perch. It is very new as you can see. It's only been open three weeks and that's why I feel very privileged to be sitting here right now in the early days because this place is definitely going to pick up some speed. If you look over here you can see that they have some beautiful rooms as well but they're not ready yet, they're not open. I've just been hanging my legs over the edge here sitting in front of the rooms and in front of the coast but if you have a little pan around to here you can see this is where the famous Pacifico lighthouse is located. I don't know if you guys have seen this in one of our previous vlogs. It used to just be a wasteland this place and people would break into private property to get up onto this lighthouse and take their pictures and drone shots and whatever and we used to be able to see it from the other side on the beach over there when we used to visit one towel before that place got blown away by the storm and now it's a part of this lovely property so if you're coming up to Pacifico Ways and your journey around Shargao Island you can expect to find this place it's really easy to find and just look at this outstanding view imagine this was your property and you woke up in the morning and you look out the back window and you see all of this and you look out your front window and see this beauty it's absolutely stunning we've all finished our lunch story has been making friends as usual she's been playing with this boy here for about an hour and a half now we've got some chilled vibes here some nice music hey <laughs> as you can see the restaurant has calmed down a lot now there was a lot more people here before wasn't there yeah it was busy yeah busy it's really good very cool vibes when the accommodation's up and running you could just walk down this path here up the steps and then into the restaurant from here have your breakfast we've sampled the coffee it's pretty good at the moment they've only got espresso and americano and i think iced coffee options and they don't have any um, non-dairy milk as of yet but we spoke to the barista who actually used to work in one towel restaurant yeah. so we know him already yeah, and he we, said they're developing yeah we featured one towel quite a few times yes it's at absolutely got decimated in the storm yeah. not a single bit of wood was remaining no. um, and they're not going to rebuild which we thought they might do because it was such a popular little place but they're not yes. um, but the barista from there now works here and yeah it's a nice so this is our kind of replacement yes it's lovely to have this here now you can see down here they've got these cool seating areas and they've got these lovely chairs you can just chill out and relax on no. At the front there was actually a sign that said pets are allowed but you have to keep them outside of the dining area so I presume around this bit and I just want to go and have a quick look at this lighthouse and see what the deal is. This is actually the first time I've been up close to this place and I can see now no trespassing government property so whoever owns Trogon's Perch doesn't own this. I have to admit though when I used to watch people's YouTube videos it did look like a bit of a health hazard because it's not maintained, it's not regulated, it's just literally a piece of concrete with no railings. People used to enter here at their own risk from before anyway but still it's good to know that this place has been turned into something functional now. You can even do your wave check so you can see what the deal is before you head up to Pacifico to do your surfing. Over here to the left is where the car park is. It's actually a decent sized car park 
I've just been told to walk down here because there's apparently their own version of Cloud Nine. Cloud Nine is the famous pier in General Luna where people go and do their wave checking and go and see all the surfers. And uh, they've built their own little decking here, which mimics that. Oh, that is cool, isn't it? The Cloud Nine of Pacifico. Beautiful. I love this. I love the fact that something so simple, like a tiny little viewing deck, can completely transform an area. Look where I'm standing right now. Just listen to those sounds. If you can see, just here was where One Tower Restaurant used to be, the place we always used to go to when we were coming up north to the, this part of Shargal. So this is our local hangout now, this is our local hotspot. Only 15 minutes drive, Sasha actually timed it door to door. It took us 15 minutes to get here. And I'm just looking down here, I can see they've built some kind of steps here. So I'm not sure if that's going to be direct access to the sea from Trogon's Perch or it depends, I mean, like once the houses, the rooms are up and running, then there could be a completely different vibe here. But right now, I feel like I'm one of the first people discovering this. I've just spotted a little cave over there. Can you see that? The cave. Well, what lives in that? It is a shame Grandad Rob isn't here right now. He left just kind of before this place opened. I think he would have loved it here. So next time Grandad comes to the island, we'll bring him here for definite. Any visitors that are coming to the island, anybody who's coming to see us, we'll definitely end up bringing them here, I think. It's got that nice, impressive vibe. You can see our car parked right there. So I think we're the only people left in the restaurant right now. It's just one other family and the owners. Looks like they're working on something up at the top there as well. I wonder what that would be. Another viewing deck, another part of the restaurant. Time to go home. I was just talking with one of the owners of this place, Annie and she said they are building direct access to the sea and upstairs that zone is going to become a gym which that is will be amazing yeah. if that becomes a gym that we could go and use as well as the swimming pool so close to where we live that that would be just epic yes so you could come along i don't know if you'd be doing any gymming yeah you'd be in the swimming pool yeah but to have like some kind of membership option or something yeah. like yeah, yeah, that's exactly. true. It doesn't exist up here in the north, so I'm no. glad that places are thinking of doing that up here. It just adds value to the area, yeah. and I'm really happy that this exists now. Yeah, I sent pictures of it to my dad. I was like, look what's just opened. Yeah, <laughs> he missed it. He missed it by a few weeks. Yeah. But hopefully when family comes to visit, this place will be up and running fully with the proper menu. Yeah, I'm looking yeah. forward to staying here as well, actually, and trying out the rooms. Yes. They and look um, really good. Mm-hmm. Six weeks is my birthday. Oh, yes. Just changing the subject <laughs> there. Yeah. Topic. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, well, I get it. They also mentioned that they're going to have a full blown Chinese menu here, which is cool, and some more vegan options and some good coffee options. But right now, they're just waiting for the electricity to be connected properly yeah. so that they can run their espresso machine and all of that stuff. So, waiting on good old, good old um, Shah Elko yeah. <laughs> to get up here and connect those lines yeah. and then they'll be up and running, so very excited. We hope you enjoyed this little update from our time here in Shargal Island and we will see you in the next video. Bye! Bye. Bye.